Hi, this is Kristen. I'm in my kitchen showing Raphael and all of you my cupboards, what I have in the house. Those are spices. I use the peanut butter with my apples. I use my garlic and herb with hummus. I eat soup. Mac and cheese is my daughter's. The whole grain's mine. Okay. Okay. So you started writing everything down since you started taking your classes on Thursday. Great. Let's talk about what you ate first mm -hmm. when you started writing things down. Okay. I started on Thursday right after the class and I woke up that morning and I had an egg McMuffin from McDonald's. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try to avoid fast food places whatsoever. That means that you're going to have to start making your meals. You want to make sure that you make the meals. You know what you're putting into it. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead. That was a egg McMuffin for with a diet soda for breakfast. Yes. No more diet sodas. Got it. No more sodas. Got it. Okay. Then lunch I had Subway with light mayo. Okay. Dinner I wait, had. Wait, wait. Diet, diet soda. soda. <laughs> no good. Okay. So here's my 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 idea for you is you take um if you go to Subway. You get a six inch uh, hero. You, they cut it in half for you anyway. What they're telling you is eat a piece now and you eat the other piece an hour later. This way you're still eating the whole sandwich, but you're now starting to control what you're putting in your, in your mouth, okay. in your stomach, in your system. So you eat half a sandwich now, the other half later. An okay. hour later, 45 minutes later, that's fine. So for dinner? I had a whole wheat wrap, high okay. fiber. Okay. With three ounces of turkey breast, two ounces of cheese, and then I have a spinach dip by uh, Tostitos. I used that instead of mayo because I thought it had less calories. Mm. And then I had an apple with water on the side. Then the next day I had egg whites with feta cheese and mushrooms. Okay. Then I took a banana and I sliced it with peanut butter and I only used two tablespoons. I measured it. Okay. Then I had sugar-free iced tea. Then for lunch I had a veggie burger, hummus and crackers, and chicken barley soup. But then I had a diet soda. Ah, uh, okay. And the soup was probably salty. Yeah, yeah, too much. Uh, what happens with the, the canned soups, like I was telling you before when we looked in your cupboard, most of the canned soups are going to have a lot of sodium. Even if they say diet and this and reduced and all that, a lot of sodium to put in it. If you are going to have a soup like that, you want to break it down with water. So take the can of soup, put it in the blender, put another full cup of water in it to break it down so you don't have as much sodium. And then don't eat all the whole soup. Eat a portion, like a small cup of it. Now with the lunch, it sounds like you had a lot. You had a veggie burger, you had hummus and crackers, and then you had chicken barley soup, and then you had a soda. It sounds like a lot of stuff. Was it a lot or was it a small portion? It was probably a lot. It was probably a lot. So what we're talking now is make a fish from your fist, right? So all you're going to eat now, and that would be for everybody on our show, or anybody out there listening to us, is you're going to eat about the size of your fist, and you can do that six times a day, okay? okay. If you're only three meals a day, you're not letting your body metabolize. You're not letting it burn correctly. So six times a day, about the size of your fist is all you're going to eat. And that includes so, your meat, your veggie, and your, your... Everything, whatever it is. This is one meal right here. Okay. Okay? Now, in between meals is where we're going to have healthy snacks. Okay? Breakfast is the most important meal. Okay. You must always eat a breakfast because all night long you slept, you, your body's very hungry. And if you don't eat breakfast, what happens on the next time you do eat, you're going to overeat. So breakfast is a very important meal because you haven't eaten for several hours. So that's going to be a nice, healthy meal. Okay? okay. Uh, if you want to do egg whites, some cereals or stuff like that, special K is good for you. Um, you don't want to um, have any fa uh, anything that's fried or anything like that for breakfast. Okay. okay. And we want to right now avoid all fried foods. Okay. All right. Um, you know, the Super Bowl is coming. Everybody's going to have all hot wings and all this crap. We're going to have to make it healthier for us. So we're going to probably come up with a couple of recipes for the Super Bowl for everybody who's going to be watching it, okay? Okay. All right, so it'll be cool. Uh, you're doing great. You've come to several classes already. What do you think? I like it. It's a lot of fun. It is, right? Yeah. It is. How was boot camp? It was good. It was good. 
Tough? It was hard, but I felt good afterwards. What are some challenges that you're coming up with right now? What do you think? Um, just what to eat, how much to eat, how much I should exercise, should I go every day, should I go twice a day, just little things like that. Right, right now your body, um, you're not used to exercising, so your body, you're going to feel pains and aches, but you're not feeling it as much, correct? But yes. you started to when you first Oh yes. a lot of pain? Yes. Okay. Um, you're going to start getting your body accustomed to that type of wor a workout, to moving more than what you normally do. So if you come once a day or twice a day, that should be fine. What happens with a lot of people when they exercise a lot and they never have, they feel entitlement. So they feel, oh, I exercise, I can eat more. That's wrong. Because your body might be thirsting. So what you need to do is drink a lot of liquids. Okay. okay. If you're going to have juice, this much juice, this much water. Okay. Okay, so you mix it up so it's all it's gonna be a light drink. Um, I would use crystal light, get away from the sodas. Okay. Okay. Apples, bananas and stuff like that, but stay away from the fruit at night because a lot of the sugars are gonna turn, okay, carbohydrate and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be stored during the night. Okay. So you wanna eat it during the day when you can burn it off. Okay. All right, so any any fruits or anything like that. Um, and try not to eat late at night. Okay. okay. What's the latest that um, we should be eating? Pro what time you go to bed? 9, 10 o'clock. Okay, so two to three hours before should be your last meal. Between that, you can have a snack, a healthy snack. You want to have some celery sticks or, uh, you know, something light. Drink a lot of water. Okay. okay, how much water should I be drinking? I would say if you take a bottle like what you have here. Yes. Um, I would double the size of that. So let's say you, I would drink like 10 to 12 of these a day. Okay. Okay. Um, right now, you have to start. This is going to help flush your system out. Okay. And he, here's a, here's a tip. If you want to do something, think about when you drink cold water, your body has to heat heat it up inside because it has to bring it to your body temperature. So it has to heat it up. Right. So your body's working. Okay. In the morning, if you like, what you can do is drink hot water with lemon. Okay. Okay. Like one of these, like a cup full of hot water with lemon. That'll help to get your body going. Now, is iced tea considered water? Um, no, water is considered water. Anytime you add anything to the water, it's not the same. It's not 100% water. So a lot of people think that, oh, I drink iced tea or I drink uh, lemonade or this and that. It's still not water. So you still need to drink the water. I'm taking my diet soda. See that? Diet soda? Goodbye. We're no longer going to be in this house. Say goodbye to your soda. Bye soda. Are you going to miss it? Yes. What are you going to drink now? Water, iced tea, lots of water. Okay. Crystal light? Crystal light. Okay, great.